Thank you. And mm. there you go, ma'am. Thank you. Of course, thank you. So when I want to share the screen, I can do that now. Do you see the sidebar? Um, yes, like with all the little icons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm I think if you, get... if you play the slideshow, maybe. Uh huh. Well, I don't know how to get rid of it. So it might just stay. If, I think if you go up on the top where it says slideshow, um, like animation, slideshow, record. Do you see that? Go to slideshow. No, on the orange slideshow. Yeah. Um, from current, and then there, yeah. We go. Okay, all righty. I think. Does it look okay? Um, it still looks the same. Go go back up to the top where you you toggled that little. So right now there's like the dash, the square, and the X. Click back on that. Oh, good Lord. For me, it went the whole screen. Okay, there we go. Slideshow. From current oh, slide. No home. No up up there at the top. Up in the top right hand yeah. corner. Yeah, I just blacked out. And from beginning, start from slide beginning. Jump. Yeah. And now, what does it look like for you? See, I'm still seeing the whole thing, and I That's don't know because so I... I have the whole screen on mine. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. Huh. Well, well, I guess you're gonna see the little things on the side. Yeah, yeah, as long as it is. Uh... They get a little preview of what's coming. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, tech, this, you know, I'm not, uh, technology is not my, it's not my forte these days, but oh well. <laughs> okay. I'm here, so it's okay. Try going to the next screen just so we can make sure it's going to switch. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, but what do you see? Just a small screen? Or no, like the whole I, I see the same screen we had at the beginning where it's got the main slide in the middle and then all the little icons on the left. But we can still see the, we can still see what you're presenting. But what I mean is like, do you um, see it on the whole screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because now on mine, it looks small. So, okay. Never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you can go back to that first slide if you want to yeah yeah there you go yeah we can still see the presentation you see it fine okay yes because yes. it looks small on my screen now which is weird oh that is weird okay. it is weird but anyway it's good as long as i know that you can see it we are good yes Good morning, Cindy. <laughs> Good morning, Candace. All right, Dina, you is all you, friend. Ooh, it's 10 o'clock already. Oh my goodness, that, that happened one, fast. One minute, yep. <laughs> okay, all right. One minute, we'll get started. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Annie. I'm Dina. Oh, 
All right. Well, looks like it's 10 o'clock. Going to get started here. So, good morning. I'm Dina, and this is my presentation on frequency and oils. Um, it is something that uh, I completely geek out about, and I hope that this information will be useful and interesting to you. So I put together a bit of a presentation. I've got uh, some slides, uh, PowerPoint slides. I hope you guys can see that screen okay. Um, I've having, been having a little bit of technical issues this morning, but I think we're I think we're good to go and we'll get started. So um, I'm just gonna dive in. I don't know if there's gonna be more people, but hopefully we will, uh, this is gonna be recorded, so, or it is being recorded, so. Let's get into it. So frequency. What is frequency? Um, Albert Einstein said, everything is energy and that is all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy, this is physics. So everything is frequency. Everything is energy. Einstein and Tesla studied it. Um, and it's very interesting. Actually, it's super fascinating how that relates to essential oils. So the state of our health and well-being is directly affected by the frequency of our body. And our frequency is affected by the, um, uh, the frequency of the things that we come in contact to. Let's back up a second. What is frequency? Some people still really don't really understand the concept. So just for a definition, frequency is the measurable rate of the electrical energy flow that is constant between two points. So once again, everything, everything has frequency. You, me, the chair you're sitting on, everything. And everything that we come in contact with affects our frequency, affects our energy. Um, in today's world, we are drowning in toxins, both mind and body, and we have so much available to us, but we are, I say we as in general, people are uh, generally sicker and more disconnected than ever. We know that this in our business, we know people come to us um, because they're looking for solutions. We're bombarded with toxins, negativity, low frequencies, bad news, negative people, processed and toxic foods, personal and household products that are filled with synthetic toxins and chemicals, and not to mention fluoride and contaminated water, and so much more. So we all want to be as healthy as possible, mind and body, of course, um, and we want to keep our families clean and safe. Um, I'm going to just show you a slide that talks about well, let's get into this. Clinical research shows that therapeutic grade essential oils have some of the highest frequency of any natural substance known to man. Young living oils, of course, create an environment where bacteria, fungus, and parasites cannot live. Essential oils have traditionally been used not only to lift mood and treat ailments, they maintain health, but also, um, that's supposed to say, inspirational, uh, in uh, I completely messed up my slide. So, and in um, practice and ceremony from the earliest recorded time. It's time that we start shifting our paradigm, begin thinking about the value of taking care of our health. So you've heard that the, uh, the phrase where an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And it, with our spectacular lineup, oils and products, we can stop masking system um, symptoms and start supporting body systems, invest, investing in our natural health and flooding, um, eliminating toxins and flooding the body with nutrients and plant grade based ingredients. So I'm gonna show you, this is really interesting. Um, it's a very, very simple graph actually that, um, I just realized my phone was making. Sorry, guys. Um, a simple graph that shows uh, the frequency of some common things that we uh, generally are coming in contact with. 
And once again, this slide was talking about how um, therapeutic essential oils have the highest frequency. This shows that essential oils generally actually, I think it it's actually goes from about 48 megahertz up until this, they thought about rose was about the highest frequency, but they know now, we know now that um, oils like spruce and especially my very, very favorite, Northern Lights Black Spruce. I mean, who's who's who else is a giant fan of this one? This one comes from my home province in BC. Um, I'm in the middle of the Mexican desert right now, but this takes me home. Ugh, it's my it's my jam. That's my favorite. So, um, I know that I am uh, preaching to the choir with this group. It goes without saying that essential oils are the most powerful part of the plant can consist of hundreds of different natural organic compounds providing support to every system in the body, skeletal, muscular, circulatory, endocrine, or hormones, respiratory, and immune systems. Oils can help clear negative energies and raise your vibrational frequency so that exterior negative forces, like I should have put, maybe I'll put some valor on right now uh, to help combat. I hope you guys can't hear the jackhammer across the street from me right now. They decided today of all days to rip the roof off their house. So um, we want, be, we can use our oils to help keep those forces at bay. It's like a little, uh, you know, I think of it like a little, um, an energy shield. Once your frequency is high, low vibe stuff can't even touch you because you don't vibrate on the same level anymore. So here's... Um, Okay, I'm going to show you this slide. It shows the graphics uh, of the human body, for example, um, goes from a frequency of about 48 or 46 uh, megahertz. Sorry, essential oils go from 46 to 580. Um, and Northern Lights has been um, blocked in about, I understand, about 700. So as far as I know, and anybody that knows any different, um, this one is the highest known oil that I've been able to discover. It's pretty cool. Um, so go back to that slide, sorry. The healthy human body functions between about 62 to 68, um, possibly up to 72 megahertz. Disease begins at about 58 megahertz. Each organ and um, part of our body operates at its own frequency and each responds to the other frequency, um, to other frequencies in their own way. So for example, your heart resonates at a different frequency than your skin and your bones. So by using a wide range, uh, array of essential oils with varying frequencies, we can help support all the body systems. So this is a really interesting graph. It shows that um, so the some of the organs um, for vibrating higher than the rest of the, the body. Um, flu symptoms, for example, start at about 57 and uh, cancer starts at about 42 megahertz. Death is technically around in the 20s. But when you get into processed or canned foods, they're at a z almost a zero frequency. So you are bringing yourself down when you're eating less than fresh organic foods. On the other side, it shows that um, fresh produce uh, has a, you know, higher than, than nothing for sure. Dried herbs, um, fresh herbs that have even higher. And then of course, essential oils. We have the highest frequency substance known to man. This is a fun chart. It shows, I believe this one can be found in the um, the desk reference. Uh, I can share these with anybody after uh, as separate graphics, if you like. This one has uh, a list of all different, uh, like a bunch of different oils, not all of them by any means, but it's really interesting to find um, Find out which of the oils are high frequency, low frequency, you know, lower, lower frequency, and you can see how you feel with them and how that balances out. What's an interesting thing is that Valor actually um, 
is such a go-to oil for so many people, but it doesn't even have uh, the high, a very high frequency. Whereas rose, of course, has a very high frequency. The Northern Black Spruce has a, the highest. Um, a lot of the tree oils have extremely high frequencies. Um, myrrh, frankincense, and some of the others, even Thebes has a, a really nice high frequency. So, okay, moving on. This diagram uh, is, a, is a, an interesting one. It shows how ways to raise and lower your frequency. At the very pinnacle up there, um, it illustrates what they refer to as chemical sunlight. These are the highest nutritional foods and substances known to man. And you'll see that essential oils are at the very, very top. So what we have, everyone needs, and it literally changes the frequency of individuals, which changes the frequency of the world. So this is exactly why Gary wanted uh, oils in every home, right? Okay. So um, because of our vulnerability to disease, uh, our, when we are vulnerable to disease, um, that is because our frequency has decreased. If we are maintaining our frequency high, therefore, we are able to uh, maintain our immunity high. Right. So there are lots of under of factors to understand of how to what things to avoid. I mean, a lot of it is common sense, um, but we need to be conscious about raising our frequency daily with the correct food, substances, i.e. oils and all the things. Um, our thoughts and emotions also can impact um, words. Really, really, they carry energy. And um, so we need to do everything we can to maintain our health and improve our lives. Did you know that words and emotions, um, your thoughts matter, your words matter. Did you know that words and emotions can create higher or lower vibrations in our bodies? Negative thoughts, for example, so we're using our oils, but you have a negative thought while you're using the oil, you literally lower the frequency of the, you know, the efficacy of the oil um, with, by, by thinking negative thoughts at the same time. It lowers it, um, from what I understand, up to 12 megahertz, while positive thoughts in conjunction with the oils raise their frequencies an additional 10 megahertz, which is pretty cool. Prayer raises frequency levels by 15 megahertz. So you can see why anointing took place with prayer in biblical times. So really, this is such a massive subject uh, because, of course, everything is energy. Everything has frequency. So trying to narrow it down for today's class was a bit of a challenge. I could talk about this all day long. Um, with this subject, uh, I started, and I'm sure if you get into it, you start diving down rabbit holes, exploring the concept of heart-brain coherence, quantum physics, zero point energy, law of attraction, manifestation, and so much more. So um, I personally, while I, my, uh, I spend a lot of time in my pastry kitchen and I listen to Abraham Hicks while I'm working as well as, you know, our, our classes on this group and everything, um, thoughts become things. And the most important, important currency is our energy. So what we need to do is spend it wisely, maintain it and direct it wisely. It's incredibly important to maintain a high vibration. Um, and to that end, you need to do whatever you can to feel good. Um, that is choosing your thoughts, laugh, dance, eat good food, love, self-care, service to others, oil up always, right? Our oils are incredibly powerful tools. Um, each of it, uh, each of them has its own vibration. Um, I'm sorry, jumping ahead there. So did you know, um, this is one of the coolest things uh, to me, is that because our oils have vibration, did you know that just carrying a closed bottle in your pocket can actually change your energy? You don't even necessarily have to put it on. And to that extent, um, so when I first started with oils, I did not like joy. I could not 
handle the smell of joy. And for me, um, I mean, obviously we know that, you know, if you don't like, if you either love or hate an oil, it's because you need it. Clearly I needed more joy in my life, but um, it took me a really long time. I went through a breakup. I started using over my heart and then it started like growing on me. Right. But I had a girlfriend who um, started with Young Living and she was up in Toronto. She, uh, we weren't in the same city, so we couldn't, you know, sit down together and talk about oils and try them together. She called me one day and she said, Dina, I got a bottle of joy and I hate it. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I know that kind of happened to me. So um, I said, you know what? I just heard this thing. Why don't you try it? I said, don't even open the bottle, put it in your pocket, carry it around with you for a few days and then try it again. And she did. And she called me back, I don't know, three, four days later. And she was like, I can't believe it. I did what you said. I opened up the bottle a little while ago and I don't hate it anymore. <laughs> and I just thought that that was really cool because I mean, I don't know. I'm, you know, I can't measure these things, you know, just by, but there are people that are very um, um, sensitive to energies, my daughter being one of them. Um, but it's so cool, the concept of even just carrying it in your pocket can help, right? Okay. So one of the most impactful presentations that I've ever seen was by uh, Dr. Trish Sanders. She spoke about frequency and oils. She dove in far deeper than I uh, ever could. Um, She's far more qualified to speak about it as well, being a doctor and all of her, all of her qualifications. She um, spoke about quantum science, but in a nutshell, she explores the concept of zero point energy of the quantum cosmos and field, uh, the quantum cosmos field that's found in all molecules. Zero point energy is also known as God energy, or the God spark. It's what Einstein and Tesla spent their lives studying. And we as humans have the ability to explode zero point energy inside the atoms and molecules in our bodies. Um, zero point energy is the one unpredictable spark inside of each atom. Um, so molecules, one thing that she talked about, which is really interesting, molecules carry emotion. There are molecules of emotion. Sometimes, we can have emotions that we don't even understand because they are passed down in our DNA from, she said, five, six, seven, eight generations back. So sometimes you might, you know, you might have feelings that you don't know how to deal with. Some people, you know, um, talk about it. They go to therapy. They're working on these things and they continue to be triggered and they don't know why. Um, you can have these triggers without knowing why because you don't have the memory attached to the emotion because it was passed down to you energetically. Dr. Trish explains that a molecule of emotion is like a pearl. So I'm just going to throw this out there. Uh, one, I'll come back to it. One drop of Young Living Essential Oil contains 40 million trillion molecules. That is 40 and then 19 zeros. I don't know, but that's a very big number. So this was, I, I uh, screenshotted this because um, it was a very simple design that she came up with in her, um, in her talk, and I just want to refer to it. Um, so she explains that a molecule of emer uh, emotion is like a pearl that gets thicker and bigger every time it is triggered. So especially a negative, obviously, or trauma. Fight, fight or flight emotions that you replay over and over again. And every time you revisit it, it's like a pearl or a snowball. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and harder and harder and harder to penetrate. And therefore, how do you get rid of those emotions, right? Especially you want to you want to work through them, but how do you do it? So going back, I think I put those a little bit out of order. Um, one drop of the our, our, our pure oils, not the store-bought, I have the phrase, friends don't let friends buy a cent, um, grocery store oils. Um, ours are the best. We know this to be true. And there's all kinds of other classes and all kinds of other information to explain exactly why 
Uh, but if you've been to the farm and you've talked to the farmers and you felt our oils, you know, you feel it. You feel it. It's amazing. So anyway, one drop of pure essential oil has 40 million trillion, trillion molecules. Um, each of these molecules has zero point energy. And this is where manifesting comes in. So there are trillions of molecules in the human body. And each molecule also has zero point energy trying to manifest something. Our pure oils, I'm gonna go back to this. So in this diagram, she's showing the circle as, um, as the molecule of emotion. She's showing just for simplicity's sake, um, the two um, uh, molecules and um, inside the little yellow spark is the zero point energy that she's, re that she's referring to. Our oils, I mean, they're, just, they're so, 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 so tiny. They can pass the blood brain barrier um, and they can literally affect our cells. Um, so this, enter, this diagram is showing the little tiny red hearts are supposed to just graphically represent um, mo the molecules of our, uh, of our oils, which are able to penetrate these molecules of emotion, causing pinpricks in the, the heavy uh, emotions and can cause implosion, um, which is a release of, you know, a release and um, therefore the loss of being triggered by a specific memory. It's incredibly cool. So you know when this has happened, when you have a memory, but you no longer are triggered the way you used to be. If you don't already know this book, it's going to be backwards, but um, you should definitely uh, get a copy of it. It is, um, you can learn more about essential oils and emotions in Carolyn Mind's book, Releasing Emotional Patterns with Essential Oils. When I was at convention in July, I went to a special workshop. Um, I didn't get the new edition, but um, this book is really fascinating. And absolutely, if you know anyone, if you're going through any heavy emotions, you're not sure what to do, um, is dealing with them. This is an incredible, like basically how-to guide. Of what protocols, really, really cool. So circling back, um, this is, well, I'm just going to show this graph because I just always find it incredibly cool. Um, talking about frequency in general, this cone shows basically from the very lowest um, feeling, the lowest frequency uh, emotion is shame, and guilt, apathy, grief. Blah, 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 blah. So um, neutrality is about 250 megahertz. Love is up they're actually about 528, joy about 540, peace upwards of 600, and enlightenment, you know, those rare beings uh, on the planet that actually reach that state. Um, Trish actually, was, Dr. Trish was talking about how uh, there are people, you know, monks in the Himalayas, for example, that that vibrate up there around 600. Um, just can you imagine just walking around and just being blissfully and at peace all the time that requires extreme control of your external environment right um well your internal environment you can't always you can't ex uh, control what's outside of you but you can definitely control what you choose to make of it okay um circling back around like i said um High frequency choices create high frequency results. So if you're taking care to maintain your energy high, uh, avoiding toxins is supremely important. And with Young Living, we know that we've got all the solutions for that. It's actually really, really easy to ditch and switch uh, toxins. And uh, I know I did little by little. I didn't even get it. I never checked that kind of stuff. I never thought about how it was affecting me. I thought that my, you know, headaches and my, and my, allergies and my digestive issues and my fertility issues and all that, I thought it was normal. It's not normal. It's not normal at all. Anyway, the great news is um, that we have spectacular tools with uh, our oils, our products, and this community. This community. I love this community. Thank you for being here. Um, we can help 
uh, we can learn how to, and we can keep our frequency high. So another thing, have you ever used this? Um, Gary's Great Day Protocol. I bought this when I was uh, away at Silver Retreat. It's an incredible little um, gift box. It's got the valor, harmony, joy, and white angelica. And if you've, yeah, you've got that. Yeah, Cindy, it's so good. Um, this is just, honestly, if you were to challenge yourself and use these oils in sequence, the way that they're meant to be used, um, there's actually this really cool little card underneath. Um, and it tells you what to do, how to use them. You can't read that, but I can share the information or I know it's in our groups. Um, but Valor, you use a drop on the inside of your wrists and you hold it. Harmony, then um, a drop above your belly button. Joy, you put a drop above your heart. And then White Angelica, you put uh, in your palms. And I was taught to like comb your aura, but you can put it on your shoulders. You can um, definitely um, help with your energy. And my youngest daughter is incredibly uh, sensitive to uh, energies. And when I had her do this with me one day, when we got to the White Angelica, she was blown away. She felt that in ways that I just kind of dream about being able to feel them. But I know that they're amazing and I enjoy them so much. But um, that was, it's a very powerful protective oil. So great day protocol. If you want to have a great day, it is guaranteed almost. Um, another thing uh, is using the powerful um, feelings collection oils. So forgiveness, harmony, inner child, present time, release, valor. These are all super, super powerful oils um, for helping to keep your frequency high, to help release emotions. Um, and more things that we can do. I mean, I could go on say about keep our frequency high, right? Uh, Ninja Red, you know, that afternoon slump in the afternoon uh, when your energy gets low, Ninja Red or a Nitro or both. Um, and then the Adrenal Trio of Rosemary, Clove, and Nutmeg um, that you can put over your adrenals or make it into a roller. That is like... I did that once and I, the first time I did it, I felt like I'd had 10 shots of, shots of uh, espresso. It was phenomenal. It's incredible that that trio, rosemary, clove and nutmeg for the adrenal trio. Um, other fre high frequency oils that you can use like for, you know, restful time at bedtime, of course, lavender, frankincense, um, valor, cedarwood, vetiver, and so many more. The list is long, but really what it comes down to is that our, our greatest currency is our energy and keeping our frequency high and supporting our natural immunity is our most important job now more than ever, right? So it's important to, I think, that we need to normalize prevention and supporting a healthy body because when given the right conditions, our bodies, miraculous, they can heal, our body can heal itself when we get out of the way. So we have within us the, a potential defense and healing system that is infinitely more powerful than any drug in the world. And it can be activated quite quickly, um, even some very often with just the mind. Your thoughts are powerful. Your thoughts carry energy. Um, and so choose your thoughts carefully. Um, our body is a veritable healing machine. And when we get out of our own way and eliminate the modern toxic soup most of us are drowning in, um, we can we can make incredible changes. I know I did, and I know many, many people that have, right? So it's time to make the shift away from toxicity. We need to practice discernment in what we choose to allow in, on, and around us. We need to learn to read labels, eliminate toxins um, on every possible level and to keep our frequency high, therefore our immunity high. And so when you know better, you do better. And I'm sure you, I don't know what um, point you are, at in your you know healing or and oil journey but um there's no going back 
once you've expanded your knowing that you are the gatekeeper to your mind, your body, your home, your family, and protecting your energy, it has to be a priority in order to be able to have, enjoy a long, healthy, active life, right? Essential oils can help in every way. So exciting. Um, I also prepared some slides that uh, I don't know if you want to do a screenshot of or I can share them with you afterwards. I'm not going to go through every single one. Um, I think I came up with 24 points that I personally could think of um, to help um, raise our vibration. Um, of course, using our oils is number one. Um, Dr. Trish also mentions, and I, it's been a priority of mine for quite some time. And the more I learned listening to lectures of, you know, from Gary Young and all the things, no fluoride, <laughs> stay away from it, get it out of your home, get it away from your, uh, in your existence. We've been lied to about that. Um, listening to, um, 528 megahertz or other uplifting frequency music. You can have that on. I like to have it on when I'm driving sometimes, um, when I'm, you know, studying or you know, doing dishes. Dance to music. Music has a power to change your mood really quick. Um, laugh, watch things that are funny. They, you know, I used to tell my kids years ago before I even knew about oils and before I knew about frequency and before I got really geeky about all this stuff, uh, we, you know, if anybody was getting grumpy, we would watch a laughing baby video, you know, because honestly, for me, there's nothing that that's the most beautiful sound in the world to me. And it's super uplifting. So whatever you can do to make yourself feel good, do that. Turn off the news. Tune out from go gossip, violence, all that thing. Get grounded. Um, walk barefoot on the earth. Swim in the ocean. And if you can't walk, then sit with your feet touching the earth. There's uh, an incredible movie. I think it might be on Netflix. Uh, it's called The Earthing Movie. It's about grounding. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's amazing. Um, surround yourself with people that inspire you and lift you up. So uh, definitely staying away from processed foods, crappy foods, stay away from unnecessary chemicals, fast food, fried food, all of those things. So unprocessed organic foods contain the most life force energy. Um, when you cook uh, in that triangle, I can go back to it or I can share it with you later. Um, in that triangle, it shows the different um, frequencies of different foods. I mean, it went from the top of the triangle with the uh, essential oils, then it goes to superfoods, and it goes down, 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 down. And the very bottom is uh, basically, you know, cooked meat and things like that. It's really low, uh, if not, you know, it's bringing you down. Um, it's not to say that uh, you know, if you eat meat, then and I'm not vegan by any means, but um, I don't eat a lot of it. But uh, Dr. Trish also mentioned in her uh, lecture about if you're going to eat some meat, then pair it with a really high vibrational salad, you know, really, really something nutritional and high. Um, and combined with intention when you're preparing your food, right? Um, mantras, meditate, pray. Morning sunlight in your eyeballs. That's a good one. Get moving, exercise, use crystals, be of service to others, eliminate, avoid um, EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies, ditch toxins. We know this to be basic. Structured water. Well, if you want to dive down that one, that's a whole new rabbit hole. It's amazing. Um, antioxidants, of course. Our names are red, supplements, collagen, all the things. Do what you can to work through those emotions. Try and, get back. Try and you know, release negative, uh, negative emotions. Avoid and, and avoid and stop triggers. Watch your language. It is vibration. Keep your words positive. Not fake positive, but focus, you know, be conscious of your, of your words because they hold energy. Um, avoid energy vampires, you know, the people that like 
suck your energy and you just, you're around them and you just, it doesn't feel good. Try to avoid them um, and be conscious of what is around you. Things that are pretty, feng shui, happy pictures, things that bring joy. And finally, I put in there, great. I know there's about, you know, 20 million other modalities and things that uh, you can do. Ice plunge, you know, all the things. So whatever you need to do to keep your energy high, whatever makes you feel good, um, do that. And be conscious of it. And little by little, um, you know, do what you can. Just showing here some of the reference guides, um, the, the, the desk reference, my essential oils, integral, um, integrative medical, and the releasing of um, emotional patterns with essential oils books. And then um, Dr. Trish referred to um, some of the other books as well in her talk. So really that's it. This has gone a little bit longer than I had thought. I can, uh, I can keep talking forever and ever, but um, I don't know if anybody has any questions at this point. Um, we can unmute and let me know if there's anything else that I can do. Oh, my last fine, final thing to say. Choose love over peace. I mean, what did I say? Choose love over fear. Oh my gosh. Choose love over fear. Choose love over peace. How ridiculous. No, choose peace. <laughs> choose love and peace over fear. Um, oil up. Bombard those molecules from your great, 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 great grandfather and be done with them. Um, ditch toxins in your home, use oils, and they can help you return to alignment and achieve that piece right there. Now I'm done. Any questions? No? Yes, I have a question. Hi. Hi, Cindy. Hi. Um, does the frequency change whether you are applying it? or diffusing it or cooking with it. I would assume if I'm cooking with it, it would lower it some, but uh, would it change the frequency of that oil if you're diffusing it or if you're just putting it on your body? I don't have that information. I don't know that. I know uh, that uh, what I've learned is when you're cooking with the oils, always put them in at the end so you're yeah. not over overheating them. I mean, obviously, yeah. heating the oil is going to is going to change it. Um, using your diffuser all day long, getting it on your on and in and around you, whatever you're drawn to. I mean, I think for me, um, and I know a lot of people feel that way. It's it's something that becomes when you're listening to your instinct, when you're listening to your intuition, you know what you need. You know, yeah. it's, it's an energy thing. And it's a, especially in, incredible with kids. If you put oils in front of kids, they'll just be automatically drawn and people that are very, you know, sensitive to energies will be drawn. But in terms of how it changes it, I don't have that information, but okay. Good, yeah. Okay. I think we'll wrap it up. Thank you for coming out and uh, go keep your frequency high. <laughs> All right, I need to figure out how to finish this. And I'm going to end it. Bye, guys. Thank you.